Hey guys, and welcome to Digi Trails. Um, so, I haven't really built any of the stalls that I'm currently working on. I'm still sort of designing them. It's been taking me a little while, but I have gotten some stuff done. Uh, the stalls, I'm sort of hemming and hawing at. I really just want to kind of get them a little bit better. Um, I may even redesign this one. Um, but I kind of want to get them a little bit more done, um, sort of in the design of this one, but I also am trying to get the layout of the town a little bit better. Um, but today, what we're really going to be focusing on is getting some auto farms going. Um, I've been kind of in that chest right over there. I'm going to be, I have a bunch of redstone materials. Um, I have a couple other materials I may have to get during this episode to help speed things up, but I need to get a couple auto farms moving along. Um, but I've kind of also been working on getting a bunch of other materials going, and I needed a lot of stone. And because of that, I ended up building a mild quarry down here. It's nothing too, too impressive. But I just started hand digging out down here just to get some stone and andesite so that I have some building materials. I'm going to build a bigger quarry down the line when I get some better stuff and figure out a better way of getting the materials. But at the moment, that was just kind of a quick and dirty way of kind of getting what I needed. Um... And that way I had, let me see, I have a bunch of andesite that I can use. And I also have a bunch of cobble cooking into stone. That way I can kind of just get going with some of my projects. Um, either building or I'm eventually, I want to start kind of working on the wall. One of the things that I did do recently is I fenced off this section. And currently the farmers, the workstations are in there because they both lost interest in their areas. And so I just moved them over to there. Um, I'm going to possibly move them to have a kind of like a farmer's stall over here, maybe. I haven't decided. It, that may end up being cool, but we'll figure it out. I haven't really gotten that far. Do I have any food on me? Yeah, I have some cooked pork chops. But, let's, I think, let's kind of move on the first auto farm. So the first one I want to work on is, I didn't bring over the seeds. The first one I want to work on is going to be a melon and pumpkin farm. Some decent trades, um, and I think I'm going to do that right about here. And actually, I think I'm going to keep this path where it is. Do I have... There we go. So what I want to do is I kind of want to keep some of this stuff right around where it is. Because I want to kind of continue to think about where roads are. Because I want to eventually build in some roads. And... I want to actually work within the bounds of these roads. Let's think... So what I can do... Let's get rid of this. Okay. So let's use cobble. I forgot to bring over some dirt. But anyway, so let's start with cobble. Let's lay down the groundwork, and let's go from there. Okay, so here is the base of the melon pumpkin form. I want to do a, a simple one that has been done by multiple people. Um, this one I've seen Mumbo Jumbo do before. I think other people have done it before, but it was one that I saw in one of his videos. But I'm kind of modifying it slightly. Uh, but what we can do is do this. I'm using the 1.13 mechanics to kind of compact the water. Um, 
to waterlog this. So what we can do is just do this. Let's see, will it allow me to do that? Yes, it will. Perfect. And I can essentially just... Perfect, and then... I don't have to expand this out. I was going to actually have another row out here, but then I thought, wait a minute, I could just use stairs and have a small trough right there. And that way, what I'll be able to do is not have a lot of wasted space. I will have some up the next level, but we'll deal with that as it comes. Well, let's get this next part going, and... I'll have to also find myself... find my hoe. Okay, maybe I should extend it one more way out there so we have an even number. That shouldn't be a problem. I'll have to go get another stair. And I can adjust the path one more anyways. Because these paths at the moment aren't set in literal stone. But... I'll be able to do that, and then let's just put a temporary block there. And what I'll just do is put an observer in between each one of these, and then what that will do is then that will just pop out. And then let's put another one. Oops. This guy out of the way. One of the things I'm also going to do is make a uh, recycling center for these guys, because I have a, let's call it an excess of them. But then what I'm going to do is do this, this, that, and that. And now I just need to make sure I have enough observers, which I don't believe I do. Let's see, how many more do I need? I just need one more observer. Okay. So let's go get some... Okay, that's not gonna be hard to set up. Okay, perfect. Okay. Everything... oops. Everything now in place. Now what we just need to do is make it so that we can actually use this. So what I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is have this so it kind of fits the aesthetic. And, well, in a way, so to speak. Um, so what we'll do is we'll dig this. that. And then what we can do is have it like that and that then do that. Make sure we have enough of these. I may need to get some more pumpkin seeds, but that's why I have these. this so what we're gonna do is do one two three four so we're gonna alternate one two three oops There we go. 
Now I just need to create the collection method. And cover it up and make it so that it won't get trampled. And then as these grow up, it'll pop them off and put them into a collection. And then I'll have a hopper that will put them into a chest. And then we'll be, go we'll be golden and I won't have to keep manually collecting them. It will just continually do it. Um, and from my understanding, having them alternate like this, it actually does it more efficiently. Um, I should get some bone meal just to quickly raise these up a little bit faster. But let's see if we can get some more cobble just to kind of grow this up on the side like this. So what I can do is just kind of do this. Just for now, and I'll get some more cobble in just a second, and then we'll make this a little bit better on the side, and then we'll kind of make the collection system, and we'll be good to go. Okay, now I just need to get a bucket down there, which I should have done before I enclosed that in. But pretty much everything else is. There we go. I have two hoppers right there. So it kind of lets me expand a little further if I so desire. Let's see. I also need to repair my pickaxe. I'm gonna put this back here. Oh, let's quickly just... I have some other ones back there, but let's just make a quick stone one. Just for working sake. rolling. Okay. Now we have that rolling. I bought a bunch of glass from one of my librarians and now all I need to do is glass this thing up. So I'm not even fully glassed up and it's already producing melons. You get some more glass, which has taken a bit of work, but I'm, as I said, I'm mostly buying it. I think my next one is actually going to be a bamboo farm because it'll be a small one, but I have an idea for how to get the stuff to go. And we are now glassed up. Now I just need to light this thing up so it doesn't spawn. Anything. And we now have a functioning melon and pumpkin farm. It's a small one. It's not meant to bring in a high yield, but it will just it'll bring in a sufficient amount. I have a, ma a manual one underground for pumpkins, but it will do the trick. Um, eventually, I may upgrade it. I may upgrade this, but I need resources. I need automated resources. Now, let's see. Do I have all the re... No, that's not my redstone chest I've been working with. Let's see could use some more of these. I could probably use some more resources, but I could probably make a quick and dirty bamboo farm. Maybe. Let's see what I can rustle up. 
Okay, I haven't been able to focus heavily on digging because I've been needing a lot of resources for emerald production. Um, because I use emeralds to buy a lot of my resources. Um, instead of digging. So, what we may end up doing is making a small one at first and then upgrade it. Like, I'm going to upgrade this one. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to make... I'm going to clear this out for now. And I may move it. Because things keep getting stuck in this anyways. Just watch the lag happen. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll use this as a storage chest because it's what we've been using as a storage chest anyways. And then we'll kind of build off from there. We have seven one. So we go one, two, Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's now let's go with let's go with six. Okay, so mostly the design is done. Um, I have to test something though to see if this will work. Oops. Let's see. So if I place stone here and here, and then here and here, let's just, for the sake of argument, place that here. Will it? Grows with that, see it. I assume it would. It's like watching grass grow. Okay, so the idea behind this, I'm just going to place a piece of redstone right there. I need because I'm low on redstone right now. Um, let's see. But once that grows, that should fire off. In theory, we should fire off a few of these pistons. Hopefully. If it grows. now at a point where okay so that, that okay that won't work okay so it's only an effort though
Okay. I'm trying to make this as compact as possible. Redstone. Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. I didn't need to go out and buy more redstone. There we go. All I need to do is throw out a couple lights. Not throw in my lights. I'm gonna cover this up with cobble because I actually do plan on just multi tiering this. And then doing this, that, that. That and that. Cover up the dirt. And then put water in the back. Now we have a couple new auto farms. We have this one, which is producing melons and pumpkins, and this one that's going to continue to produce. I mean, that's not its actual production, that's just ones I also had in there previously, but it's going to start producing a lot more as well. Hopefully. Um, when I get some more resources, I plan on actually producing a sheep farm but I really just wanted to get these two going because these two are big money makers for me because they're easy and fast resources um, this is another one of my auto farms I have um, one of the updates I added to it was actually added a daylight sensor and an observer and that way it produces pretty quickly and that's why you don't put a piston in front of an observer Shit. And I made noopsie. <sighs> okay. So. I thought I could be smart with this. Apparently not. So I have to let that one grow. It's full size. And then It will push. There we go. <sighs> Rookie mistake. I'm not the best redstone. I'm not the best builder. I just make things work together in synchronism. I make synergy. I make synergy. I'm a synergy person. It's what I've always been when it comes to these things. Because I've been playing since Alpha, but it's always been kind of on and off. Um, 
and I used to play modded a lot back when Alf when vanilla didn't have a lot to play in and I used to love making the different mods work together in tandem um, that was kind of one of my favorite things to do especially making industrial craft stuff work with other things Hmm. Anything else I can easily... Easily automate right now. Not particularly. Not that I can think of off the top of my head. Because my main plan was those two. I wanted to get those two easily done. And I know these two are going to go. So let's actually grab that. I'm going to grab these. Now that I have that, let's see what I can get for the melons. I got some decent melon trades. And trade the fruits of our labor. Did I throw a crafting table in here? Yes, I did. Okay, nothing too extreme. My farmers aren't here at the inn. You do three. I think you are. You're three. And you're three. Okay. Five. Five. I got some more mel. I think I had some more pumpkins around. At least I'm getting some trading going. At least some, I have some crops automated, automatedly going. And there we go. And there's my food. That way. I can easily start trading. I know I want to get a wall going soon, but I haven't figured out when I'm going to do that. Pumpkins, five. You're both five at this point. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I want to make sure I have a double chest at both these spots. So that one's a double chest. And this one's double chest. So what we'll do, I'm actually going to put that down there. Lots of space, lots of space, just to make sure we have space for both. Cool. Now that's going to start rolling in. Hopefully, that's going to start rolling in. That's going to start rolling in. And then I'm going to start working on some more stuff. Then we're good to go. So, as I feed my cows and start breeding them up, um, thank you for watching this episode of Digi Trails. Um, definitely just kind of focus on the auto farms. Possibly next episode I'll work on some of the building. Won't just die. Um, next time we'll work on some of the auto farms. And we'll, we'll definitely try and... We'll definitely work on getting some of the better stuff down the line. See if I can get some of the. There we go. Uh, we'll get some awesome stuff. We'll we'll work on building some of the the stalls, 
Um, but I kind of want to go exploring a little bit. I want to try and go into the nether and check out that nether portal. Ooh, hi, pretty kitty. Um, kind of work on some other farms, though, but I don't know. i got to figure out what I, where I want to head next. I also want to see if I can tame some of these cats, but I don't think I actually been keeping any of my fish. But. I may also explore doing some live streaming soon. Um, I haven't figured out how I'm going to do it, but. Or when we're going to do it, but I know I have a Twitch account set up, which is just same name, DigiTrails. Uh, but anyways, you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching. See you guys later.